Good morning. Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 8th of January. Now I am outside. It's a nice summery morning here. It's Sunday morning. Um, I thought I'd come out in nature, get some sunshine so you can hear the birds, the crows. There's a few crows around here. Um, there are a few mowers in the background, so hopefully it doesn't drown me out too much. So I'll close my eyes guys. We'll get started and we'll see what comes up. <coughs> I'm just getting that people are channeling their inner wisdom. They're, they're channeling their inner wisdom. They're getting these feelings of knowing something's amiss. Mm. <clears throat> it's only taken three years, hasn't it, for them to realize. But I am getting that people are starting to get in tune with their wisdom and what's going on. Their knowledge is starting to rise up. They're starting to be more aware. This is the people waking up. Probably not you if you watch my channel. It's the people waking up. They're getting in tune with their wisdom now and their understanding. Um, that something's not right, that things are, I'm sort of getting the word, going away um, and just not adding up is another term for that. Oh, there's people everywhere. <laughs> um, let's see what else we get. And it's showing me this visual of, of a wise old owl like sitting on a tree branch. So if you think of an owl, it kind of conjures up this image of wisdom doesn't it so it's showing us this is a brave heart biker freedom fighters that we are um we're already over in terrabella which is our beautiful earth we've called it and we're sitting on this tree branch and we're observing like an owl if you think of the owl for example of harry potter is it head hedgewig hedwig <laughs> hedwig um harry potter's owl he he was this owl that could um he would also take messages as well. So he was kind of like a messenger, but he was also this wise owl. So I'm getting this visual of an owl, which is all of us sitting in this tree and just observing with the big eyes. You know how owls always have very big eyes, but they always have a lot of wisdom. Well, now I'm getting that these people waking up are starting to get into their kind of, I, I, I guess you could say they're channeling their inner owl, <laughs> but they're getting into their wisdom and their knowledge and they're starting to find things out. So they're starting to get into their owl energy and, and all the while we've been sort of taking messages planting seeds um, but also observing from afar because that's that's wisdom and that's being wise is to stay out of all the nonsense and garbage that I always talk about and protect yourself as well so I'm getting this visual of the owl um, head is it Hedgewig it's something like that it's a it's an unusual name <laughs> anyway out of Harry Potter where where um, like that today but these other people are waking up as well that's the sleepwalkers and the people who have been in the mass psychosis and that are starting to wake up i keep saying they're coming out of that slowly a lot of them not all we know there's a hell of a lot that are going to be in it because they're hitting with the big covid waves again yes globally we're all getting the bloody garbage fed to us again on mainstream media um how scary all this is and the strep a i talked about yesterday it's just ongoing it's the immortal cv virus now <clears throat> we knew it was going to happen because you don't build moderna factories for no reason do you to not make money we know that dictator dan and trudeau and all these people have built these big moderna factories so they're going to want to get these jabs in arms aren't they because that's all about the dollar oh here comes my cat <laughs> um i'll see what else we get today I'm getting that England's rising. This is Lily, everybody. I'm getting that England's rising. England is going to stand up. They are. And they're standing up for all different reasons. They're gonna stand up for finances. They're gonna stand up. Gosh, all the crap that is going on over there with Harry and the Royals and the Harry and Meghan saga that's continuing. Um, we know that this has gotta be causing the Royals' blood to boil. William and Kate, would, can you imagine how infuriated they are? If any of you have been following this, um, Harry's calling out all the BS and garbage that's gone on behind closed doors. Um, and we know that, you know, it's probably not a bad thing actually, because it's starting to expose the royals a little bit for who they really are, which is like this fake persona that they put on for the public. We all know here, majority of us on this channel, um, know that it's all a bit of a front and a bit of an act. And we know that at the core, they're, they're quite corrupt. And um, I, I actually think it's not a bad thing, to be honest, that Harry's calling out some of the BS and garbage that goes on behind closed doors there. Um, look what happened to Diana, you know? That was just absolutely ridiculous. So I am getting that for England, that a lot of people are gonna start to stand up and fight back. Um, <clears throat> see, 
it's not just us that sees the um, the imbalance of all of this. Like we all see it. Um, they're living in this great big palace, but they're dictating. And we know Charles is with the WEF. He's one of the ones dictating about climate change and all this kind of crap that you have to get on board and do all these things. Um, but people are starting, like I said, they're getting into their wisdom, their knowledge. They're starting to find these things out. They're sourcing the information. God, Harry's putting it in front of people's faces, isn't he? So, you know, you have to look at it. It's not a bad thing. Um, that some truths are finally coming out about the royals. We know the rest of it's going to be hidden way back in the background but you know at least the spotlight's going to be on them for a little while and it's going to be on charles and he won't like that before his big crowning or whatever it is is it in may um that's that's coming so i am getting that that people will stand up and we know that sushi's going to hit hard we keep saying it here he's he's starting to pop up in people's faces i noticed that he's getting his roll out all prepped and ready um for the big green light to go so <clears throat> this is when people are going to start to hang on a minute what are you doing to us this is what's going to happen they're going to have to research and then they're going to realize the reset's real see this is the thing globally people don't think the reset is real they don't understand what we see see we see it as a whole package we see it as the book and we see it as Klaus being at the top and all the little puppet masters and that down below but these people waking up you've got to give them time to catch up oh god the sun's filtering through the tree guys um you've got to give them time to catch up because they haven't pieced the whole picture together it's like i keep saying it's like a giant puzzle to them that they've got to now put all the pieces in together they're still kind of at the moment to me where the sleepwalkers are and the people waking up they're still doing the border of the puzzle that's the easy bit isn't it doing the border it's when it comes to filling all the interior of a puzzle that it gets very challenging so that's what they're going through um let's see what else we get today Germany hang on a minute God Germany oh I'm getting all these mixed messages hang on a minute for Germany I'm just getting that there's some real um, extremes of poverty in Germany I think there's a lot in of really um, there's a real, um, there's a poor part of society in Germany that people aren't aware of and they, they do live on the streets and they, um, they huddle together. They're showing me this very poor part of society um, that's very downtrodden and it is saying that Germany's really trying to become that dictatorship again. Oh, this is just scary, guys. Oh, I'm going to have to move <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this is really scary, guys, if this is starting to happen again. Um, I, actually, some things popped up on my feed last night, which was really interesting, coinciding with... Um, I'm just going to move into the shape so you can see me with Auschwitz. And it was just horrifying. Some of the things that went on in Auschwitz, it, you can't even watch it, actually, because it's so um, traumatic and devastating, the things that they did to the Jews. Um, and I know a lot of you here felt a little like that when we were being vilified and ostracized. It actually felt like we were going to come to harm for some of us. Um, that's how it felt. But I am getting for Germany, there's this very low socioeconomic portion of the population. Um, it's sad over there. There's, there's a lot um, going on. Um, sorry, I'm getting all a bit jumbled up with Germany, but there's a lot going on in Germany. I'm getting, in Germany, I'm just getting these secret, I'm getting like secret underground tunnels. Um, this is kind of weird, isn't it? But I'm just getting that people are planning things. People over there, this is to do with, I would say, the wake up. People are planning um, how they're going to fight back. So I, even though they showed all the arrests on TV and they, they arrested, what, 25 people or something and for being conspiracy theories, anti-government and all this, I still feel like there's big movements over there um, and they're ready to charge forth. That's what I'm getting. That's just what I'm getting. There's a lot of underlying activity in the fight backs in Germany and, and it's got to be scary for them. If you think about what, what has happened in their past, um, that that 
puts a lot of deep emotional wounds and fears into people as well um, from way back because those things get passed through from family members to family members to family members. Um, so that's what I'm getting there for Germany. Um, I'm just getting it. I'm just getting that there is movement. There's movement bubbling up to the surface of people fighting back. So it's still happening. They haven't been deterred and people are, are, are looking at avenues of how they're gonna go about doing this. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm all speckly. <laughs> oh, I come out here to give you some nature and then I disappear into the sunlight. Um, okay, let's see where else we go. For some reason, I'm getting Singapore. I'm getting these like Asian countries are rising up to the challenge. Um, they're finding all this difficult to navigate as well. This is the whole CVBS garbage. So I think we're going to see a lot more countries rising up. We haven't heard much about Singapore. Mm, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, I hear that Singapore is a very, very clean, clean um place to visit a lot of people who've been there talk about how that how clean it is there's no garbage or litter i think they have quite heavy fines don't they but i am getting that singapore is rising up um to the challenge see everywhere's tired of this everywhere's had enough they don't want to be locked down they don't want to be wearing face masks it's like we're going right back to the beginning again i know all you guys are feeling that same way aren't you out there um, because they're just putting all the fear and everything on everyone. It's the worst variant ever. It's more transmissible. It's making people sicker. Hospitals are overwhelmed, blah, blah, blah. We know how it all goes. And so I'm getting Singapore and a lot of these Asian countries are now going to step up as well. Um, and there's going to be fight backs too in those regions. Oh, I hope so. Um, it's just that typical, we're not going to take it anymore. See, look at China. We know that they're hiding a lot of the big protests that are going on in China. There's crap more that's gone on in China. I know they're covering that up. Of course, they don't want to be seen as everything's failing and that they they haven't got control of the people because we know China wants to be at the top of the pyramid. So I am getting that China will really hide and cover up um, all these things. They're going to try and really hide any big protests that might go out to the rest of the world because they know that's going to ignite the rest of the world to stand up. If it's happening in China, then people are really going to fight back, aren't they? Um, so that's all very hush-hush and very well hidden in the media. None of that's leaking out. And God help if it did, there would be very serious consequences in China. As we know, they're not allowed to, you know, everything's very controlled over there. Wouldn't be much slipping through social media, I wouldn't imagine. Um, so that's what I'm getting for China. There is a lot more going on there than we even know the half of. Um, people power i'm just getting that power to the people it's making a difference look how they dropped all their um really tight restrictions and then they open the borders so you know that says a lot we know they're trying to affect and threaten the rest of the world but they're you know having to calm the people down so that's what i'm getting for china all right let's see what else we get <clears throat> I'm getting Taiwan. We know Taiwan's been um, really trying to protect itself from China. And I keep saying they've got this energy that can repel China. And I do feel that they're gonna continue to do that. Um, we know China does the military threat and all this kind of thing, but I just don't see war happening there. I really don't. I, I think Taiwan's too strong mentally. They have a very good game plan moving forward. So I am getting that Taiwan's rising to the challenge. So I feel like Taiwan, you know, they might be a small country, but they're still equal to the challenge with China. And I feel that's why China doesn't just go directly. Because if China really wanted to overrun Taiwan and take over, they would they would have, but they haven't. So these are the things we have to question, don't we? So I feel like Taiwan Taiwan rather is is good for the challenge. It it can hold its own. I still get that for Taiwan. Um The guides are showing me all these streams flowing, right? We've got all these like rivers and streams all flowing and they're all pouring down into like the one ocean. And this is what's happening with the CV virus. We know it's immortal now and they're creating this 
huge continuous um, CV virus journey um, and it's all joining together now and they're gonna well I think we could almost say they have done that haven't they with the all the variants haven't they put like the flu with the CV with the what's that chest infection thing but now it's gonna even have more added to it so this is why I'm getting all the streams are joining together into the big ocean of the CV virus everything's gonna come together and it's gonna as we know here it's going to cause everything it's going to be the reason everyone's dropping dead um there was another football player that collapsed in america wasn't it um i think he's okay but he had a cardiac arrest again same old getting a bit hard to hide when they're in live games isn't it now um so we're getting cv does everything cv is the cause of everything and we know it's the cause of everything all right people losing their businesses job loss you name it um people getting maimed and injured yeah it certainly does cause everything in our eyes anyway but now they're gonna put everything in this big CV virus it's like a giant ocean petri dish that they're gonna just shove it all in there and it's gonna become this like oh, it's this huge CV virus that's just and it's gonna say that everything mutates and joins to it so there could even be up to five um, five like strains of things now like this is what they're kind of adding to it. Everything's just getting added to it. Ugh! They'll probably add that strep A thing to it as well. And it's gonna become this ginormic virus that everything's just mutating. It's changing and changing and everything's just magnetizing and getting added to the CV virus. We know that's what they're doing. And we also know that most of it was probably made in the uh, lab. Um, the poor old bats copped it, didn't they? And they're probably totally innocent unreal so I am getting that that all these little sub variants and everything are like the streams and they're all going to the ocean now and getting added into the big CV virus over here so it's gonna become the bigger than bigger than thou CV virus oh and see this is what they want because they want it to go on forever and they want people to be terrified of it and scared and and running in the streets and quick get your jab this is what they want oh, it's so obvious to us isn't it we run the other way of course and just go yeah whatever the BS detectors um, don't really fall for those tricks anymore. Um, let's see what else we get. Yeah, I'm getting China. I'm just getting that China's coming for other places now. You see, China wants global power. I keep saying that. So they're coming for all the other places. And they're actually quite sneaky. We know they've taken like Solomon Islands and a few other places, lots of islands. But I am getting that they're being sneaky and they're, they're like gathering up their little, what would you court they sort of grow in their kingdoms that's what I'm getting for China they're threatening a lot of places and we know that they are at the moment not just with releasing the CV virus again but you know with their military threats um, so they're still trying to grow in power they're still trying to keep that power oh China nightmare can't they just do their own thing oh, I don't know how anyone can live in China I honestly don't uh, hang on a minute. Oh, I'm, I'm getting now that this is getting really destructive. This CV variant that I would say is coming from China that's now being released into the world like a, as we call it here, the bioweapon, um, it's going to start to cause a lot of damage to people. It's going to become really obvious. I mean, we it's been obvious to us for three years what's going on that they're you know, giving people shingles, myocarditis, um, you know, Bell's palsy, all these kind of things that are starting to affect people and change lives. Um, but there's going to be a lot more um, coming out with these. See, what you've got to remember now is you've got these CV viruses with the mixture of variants. So there's all sort of, God knows what's happening in the body with these things. We already know about the blood clots um, that are occurring with the... Oh, the video died suddenly, which most of you have seen on Rumble, um, about the huge blood, blood clots that these embalmers and the funeral directors are pulling out of people now. It's like absolutely horrifying. Um, and this is what's gonna start happening. I think we're gonna start to see more of these like clots and things and people aren't going to be able to travel because we know that's the goal. That's pretty much been the goal the whole time. Look at all the bags getting lost at the airports, the cancellation of flights, all the dramas, blah, blah, blah. Let's not get people traveling. It's better when they're contained. We can track and trace them. And now there's gonna be more of this. People won't be able to travel. Look at all the airline pilots who had to get jabbed and now they can't fly. 
you know, this is starting to happen. They're coming together in their truth movements too and they're starting to speak out. This is starting to happen. There's truth movements. So when a lot of these sleepwalkers, people waking up, when they start to hear about all these pilots and things with their blood clots, fingers crossed they get the information, they're gonna start to panic and they're not gonna wanna fly. So it's gonna start to deter people from flying because all these big variants of the CV are gonna have more effect and more impact on people in all different ways. It's not just gonna be the things that we've been seeing like the shingles, myocarditis, and there's gonna be more things coming out. Oh, this is just getting sick, isn't it? It really is. And that's what I'm gonna, we're gonna see a whole new, oh, let me see what I can get for this thing. And we're gonna see a whole new heap of um, effects, side effects, I would say. Hang on a minute, let me see. Yep. And, then, and of course, this is what they were talking about with that Sears. If there's a, there's a video about Bill Gates talking about that, um, or, to, or this panel talking about the Sears virus that they think is going to come out in 2020 feet, 25 rather. Like, how would they know that if it wasn't planned? So this is what I'm getting. And they were talking about how it's going to affect children and have um, give them brain damage and paralysis. So, you know... This is the sort of shit that's gonna start to happen. There's gonna be more of this affecting the brain. God, we don't know what shit's in these bloody jabs, do we? So, sadly, I feel like this Chinese variant or whatever's emerging at the moment is, is gonna have quite a detrimental effect on people's health. It's, it's so sad, I wish people would listen, but hey guys, there's nothing we can do, you know? We were told we were conspiracy theorists, um, tin hat, flat earthers, you name it just fools and here we are and they're still getting jabs in the arms so there's not much you can do but let them wake up we've just got to stay the old owl owl the wise old owl on the um tree branch over here and be oh my crows are so noisy i feed a family of crows <laughs> um is it hedgewig anyway we'll just remain that owl um and stay safe over here on the um branch because i feel like this is really headed down a very dark dark path um but don't worry people are seeing it like i keep saying to you people who have had vaccine injuries know when it happened they know they had a jab and that guy that collapsed on the football just the other day um he actually was jabbed like two days before day before so they know this is happening people know this is happening it's too obvious how many sports people have just collapsed like you, you can only cover these things up for so long but the thing is with with phones and things like that today remember that people get film these things so once it's on it's out there that's what i keep saying the bubbles of truth once the information's out there it's out there for good and it keeps popping up over here or pops up over there or someone shares it here look at us we share everything um oh god guys this is just getting just i don't even know what this is getting what is even happening to our lives here guys i don't get it i know you guys don't get it it's just complete madness isn't it um i'll see if there's anything else today hang on a minute god it's all been about the jab today obviously this chinese thing is not great it's not like the other omicron and all that it's going to be different uh, so i'd say within the next six months we're going to start to see different things coming out um people will get more forgetful um this kind of thing let's see it's more it's going to affect the brain oh that's sad isn't it um let me see what else i get today hang on they're just giving me that <laughs> they're giving me just the message that we have to keep smiling we have to keep smiling and just riding the waves um going up and down just smoothly riding our little life and, and just um floating about um doing our own thing um is the advice that i'm still getting for us hang on a minute the guides are saying Chrissy, can you tell them all to stay strong, stay upright, stay in their power, stay in their truth, stay in their beliefs, um, and rem keep removing yourself from the narrative over here. Keep removing yourself um, because it's by doing the little things that you fight back, like, for example, not wearing a mask, not signing in at places, things like this. If that starts to happen again, stay really strong. They said they know it's really hard, but this is how you do it. Um, if enough people do it, that's when things they can't um 
implement everything that they want to do to control people so you have to stay really strong and like upright they're showing me the shoulder pads thing again where we've got the broad shoulders and things can sort of wash over us and we don't we don't really take things too personally anymore we're kind of used to being ostracized and vilified just for being us um so i'm getting that message from the guides hang on <clears throat> They're showing me us and they're saying that in the last couple of years we've been like in this tumble dryer. Uh, we've been like washed around, mucked around, um, uh, hidden from view. But now they're showing me that the tumble dryer has been opened and we're all walking out but we're all fresh. So we've like uncrumpled ourselves out of this dryer. Um, it's like, you know, a clothes dryer. But we're, we're walking free now. And that's the image I'm getting for us is we're walking free. Um, we're not going to be um, tumbled, tumbled around, mucked around. Um, they're saying like regurgitated, um, all this kind of stuff. We're just, we're out and we're, it's like we've been cleansed. And I think if you think about it, it's it's kind of like coming through the other side of your awakening process too. You, you're uncrumpled. Like they're showing us all just straightened out, all stretched out, all um, cleansed, decluttered, cleared. Our minds are clear. We can think um, clear and we're just heading forward. So I'm definitely getting that today. We've come out of the tumble dryer, the three year tumble dryer event. And, and we're just, um, we're all, we've been like, well, the guys are saying like purified, meaning um, all our old emotions we've moved through. You get triggers. I'm not saying we don't get triggers because we do. I've had a little bit of anxiety this week. We still do get our triggers. But what the guides are saying is that we, we know how to navigate them. When they come up and rise up, we know what to do. We go and do our, um, we go to Terra Bella or we go to our creativities and our passions. We go and do the things that we love. We know how to get back into the now and we know how to switch our thoughts. So that's why we're able to move forward with those like broad shoulders. Um, let me see if there's something to close with today. This has been a strange reading today, guys. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. That crow is so distracting. He's so loud. There's four of them. They're like a little family. <laughs> they always look for food when I come out. Oh, it's like having a little mini meditation, guys. Maybe we can have that listen to the birds for a minute while I go through the jukebox songs. <laughs> oh, God. funny when you stop and listen to the sounds isn't it and you hear just so many things I love doing that sometimes just listening to bikes going past all the birds it's just a great way to be in the now um, they're giving me a song um, this is it do -da 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 -da, all I wanted and so this is it I think it's off one of those dancing movies isn't it this is it da -da 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 Oh, I've got the feeling it's off one of those like 80s movies um, and I'm getting this aerobics gear for some reason so this is it I've got the feeling it's like a John Travolta dance movie where they're in aerobics tights and this is it oh, maybe that means this is it this is the big year of the shift I'm hoping that's what the song means let me see if there's something else hang on a tick something for us <clears throat> They're messing with my, my guide rhythm. Hang on. Hey, 
never work with animals, never work with dogs and kids and now crows in my case. I find them very distracting. Do you guys have crows where you live? You probably have ravens or something. They're big black birds and they're very distracting. They're very, very loud and attention seeking. Um, look at Lily, she's even used to them too. She, and they're very they're even bigger than her actually um hang on let me see if i can get a final song <laughs> to finish our lovely terrible day off hang on a minute <clears throat> oh i'm getting a beautiful song and it's sung by mariah carey actually and it's um I think she sees it, sings it with boy zone or boys to men and it's um and you're always shining down from me from heaven like so many things that are lost along the way and I know we'll be together la 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 once again oh what's that song called guys it's so beautiful and I know I'll be shining down from heaven um I'm a terrible singer look I apologize anyone new here I apologize I got the worst singing voice but I only get given the tune and then I have to kind of turn it into words and then hopefully you can turn it into who sings it but I know Mariah Carey does sing it with I think it's boys to men or boys zone or something um and it's just an absolutely gorgeous song. So I'm getting that song for us today. Maybe that's the guides looking down from us from heaven, um, guiding us through this year. Perhaps that's the message there. <laughs> I'm also getting another Mariah Carey song. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, now I've got Lily distracting me. <laughs> um, and she sings this song with, um, he's a really big singer. I think he's over there in America. Um, he plays the piano. <clears throat> oh, I can't even picture the film clip. She's in this brown dress and she's leaning on the piano. Hang on a minute, it'll come to me. Oh, I've got blank. Oh my God. I do worry I'm turning into Biden sometimes, guys. I just get the worst... Oh, my memory. I think it's as you get older, isn't it? Your memory just fades a little bit. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, I've just gone blank, guys. Maybe it's the same song. Maybe that's why I've gone blank. Oh, anyway, I'll come on and tell you what the song was tomorrow. I'll see if there's any other messages from the guides. We're having a strange day today. I think I'm all out of sorts because the sun's shining. I'm not used to it. Um, and they're trying to get me to meditate or something. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, I'm gonna oh that's the name of the song that's why they're giving it to me one sweet day we're gonna go and enjoy our one sweet day by Mariah Carey well that's one of the songs <laughs> I do love her voice it's great maybe not the Christmas song so much so I'm gonna leave with that today one sweet day one sweet day oh it's a beautiful song all right oh big car zooming past on that note, I'll say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you very soon. Sorry about the music glitches at the end. The glitch in the matrix. One Sweet Day by Mariah Carey. Bye. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.